asking now uh, regarding praying for ishraq we know that praying for ishraq is encouraged uh, at by the prophet والسلام, when he said whoever prays two whoever prays fajr in congregation and stays and remains where he is where he had prayed until remembering Allah until um, uh, the sun rises and he, then he prays two rak'ahs Allah Azza wa would uh, uh, reward him with the reward of a full complete Umrah and Hajj complete 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 so when the Prophet والسلام, tells us this hadith this hadith is an issue of dispute among scholars whether it's uh, authentic or not we believe inshallah it is authentic and having said that the hadith itself says that you should remain in musallah and the word musallah might give the impression to some that it is the place he prayed in and it also can mean the place of the whole masjid and this is the most authentic opinion that if you pray and you move around the masjid then there is no problem in that not only that one of the conditions for getting such a high reward is that you spend your time after Fajr prayer until the sun rises in dhikr so whether you recite the Quran whether you read books of knowledge whether you give a lecture whether you do something that is beneficial this is all acceptable but if you doze off or you sleep you don't get this reward if you talk with someone and backbite you don't get this reward so the majority of your time should be occupied by dhikr however if you take a bit of this time for what is necessary then there's no problem while sitting, reading the Quran, someone comes and says, Assalamu alaikum. I would not reply to him. I would reply to him. Someone sneezes, I would say, Irhamukumullah, after he says, Alhamdulillah. If someone breaks wudu, he cannot sit and wait until sunrise to pray the two rakats because it's not on wudu. There's no problem for him to go, renew his wudu, and come back immediately. This does not interrupt his um, sitting anticipating the ishraq and then for uh, praying the turaqahs insha'Allah